Observer Live, uh, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Last night was Extreme Rules. The WWE pay-per-view with no Extreme Rules matches with the exception of the one main event. Which led to a night, uh, two hours and 40 minutes of fans chanting for tables and such. And they, and they didn't get them. Because you know what? They bought tickets for Extreme Rules... And then got a bunch of wrestling matches. And if you like WWE-style sports entertainment matches, have I got the show for you. We had The New Day beating Lashley, AJ, and Omos win Big E, the unadvertised WWE champion, pinned Bobby Lashley in the middle of the ring with his move clean. And I don't want to hear any arguments. It was a clean finish. I'm sorry that Lashley hit his own partner. It's a tag match. It's a clean finish. This led immediately to an angle where Bobby Lashley, who was pinned in the middle of the ring by the WWE champion, demanding and being granted a championship match to kick off Raw tonight. The action was better than you would get in your average Raw six-man The Usos beat the Street Profits. The action was better than you would get in your average SmackDown tag team match. But not a lot better. Just a little bit better. It was fine. The Usos ended up getting the win over the Street Profits to retain the SmackDown tag team titles. Charlotte Flair faced Alexa Bliss in a match that apparently was better on the road. This match was... It was all right. And the finish was horrific. Charlotte threw a doll at Alexa Bliss, which I don't care what any of you say. That should be disqualification. But she threw the doll at her. She then kicked her in the face, and she pinned her. Charlotte then tore up the doll, and we got five straight minutes. How long did the match go? The match went 11. So it wasn't quite as long as the match itself. But five straight minutes of a grown man dressed like a 10-year-old with white goo coming out of her mouth, crying because her doll had been torn up. She was more devastated that her doll had been ruined than that she did not win the World Wrestling Entertainment Women's Championship for the SmackDown brand. Who cares about that? Her doll! By the way, you can buy the doll at the gimmick table for 25 bucks, but this was this was enough for her to cry and froth at the mouth for for five straight minutes. Damian Priest beat Jeff Hardy and Sheamus. This match had some heat because the fans loved Jeff Hardy, but alas, he was defeated. Damian Priest rolled up Sheamus and pinned him to retain the title. Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair, I don't know if you've heard this or not, but when the show started, they had a commercial for Extreme Rules, which included Becky Lynch, of all people, stating to you, the viewer, that, and I quote, anything goes at Extreme Rules, and then, of course, of all matches, her match ended in a disqualification, when after 18 minutes, Sasha Banks just ran in for the DQ and beat up both women. And then in the main event, Roman Reigns defeated Finn Balor. Finn Balor hit the double foot stomp. The Usos ran in. He laid them out. He got speared through the barricade. And then heartbeats played. Red light filled the arena. And Finn Balor was resurrected as New Jack. He began running wild as his music played in the background. And then this poor geek went up to the top rope. And the rope just broke. And this poor fool fell into the ring and was speared and pinned. Negligence on the part of the company. Unsafe working environment. But damn it, he lost. We got to move on to Brock Lesnar, they said. So that's the end of the demon. His first loss as a result of equipment malfunction. Who would have ever thought? Some bad finishes on this show. And the worst part was, it's not like, hey, you know, let's do some bad finishes at the beginning of the show and then do some stuff to make the folks happy. No, let's do the bad finishes at the end of the show to send you home miserable that you bought a ticket to Extreme Rules and in the only Extreme Rules match, the ring broke, leading to the finish. 
I was accused of being biased because I thought that sucked. But you know what, everyone? It sucked. I am unbiased by telling you it sucked. What do you think of the show, Mike? <laughs> a nice overview you gave of everything. Of course it is. Right it's my job. Did a fine job right there. Um, I don't want this to sound condescending. Everybody worked real. I'm not talking to you. Do your homework. The child, what is wrong with these people? What did he this yell? Did it happens. sucked? That he You're right, saying, Avery. He wanted it. It did. It did. A lot, a lot of it did. But I don't want this to sound condescending. But seriously, everybody worked really hard. Even... Though a lot of at moments in many of these matches or some of these matches, everything was not humming. <laughs> so there were some sloppy moments, but it was really if you watch this show in a vacuum and just chuck your brain. I mean, you see these athletes just kicking ass and doing what they are asked to do what they are you know ordered to go out there and, and what they are in their confinements that they are stuck in like the usos and the street profits were great it's just that we've seen it so many times and again they're confined with what they want certain endings to be and things like that charlotte flair and alexa bliss i mean if they're just like hitting each other it's great when you add in all of the other stuff in the afterbirth of that that went on forever with that doll and then you know they forgot one old wrestling you know rule that you need to have you put a little water in your mouth do something before you drop the alka-seltzer tablet in there that way you can actually foam up and, and it'll actually look like something but again it, if you, again watching the show in a vacuum if you don't care and you're just a wwe fan that's looking to be entertained for three hours and you're not watching every show every single week or anything like that it was a fun show, but when you have the five minutes <laughs> that took place with Alexa Bliss and the fact that, you know, where is this leading to? Chucky? You know, seriously, what, what, why, why, I would want this to go away, but I just don't think it will, and it, and it sucks. You know, the, the Damian Priest, Jeff Hardy, Sheamus thing, Jeff Hardy's probably going to get shuffled back down, even though he got the reaction that he did, even though he should be somewhere higher than the 24-7 tier where he was a couple of weeks ago. I don't have any faith in them doing anything with him or, or, or taking advantage of, of the reaction that he got last night. And as much as I like Damian Priest and Sheamus, we're going to see that a zillion more times. I like it, but we're going to see it a zillion more times. The way Sasha re-debuted by attacking both of them, I didn't like that. The Big E situation with the Lashley match where Lashley just curses a lot and then after he's beaten twice cleanly, now he wants another title shot and he's given it because that's how WWE works. The show just books itself as it goes along. I just, again, when you want to put critical thought into it, uh, it's no bueno it's just another wwe show with silly rules like no extreme rules on an extreme rules pay-per-view but again in that little vacuum if that's what you like then i'm sure you had a great night last night oh did we ever have some people that had a great night last night <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.